Hey there, I thought I would pop in with an interesting story, and this is probably good news for drone owners, especially DJI drone owners. Anyway, uh, this is the report from MSN. Federal agencies buy drones from company defense department says poses potential threats to national security. This is what the article reads. Both the Secret Service and the FBI bought surveillance drones from a company that the Department of Defense believes could be a national security threat. The Secret Service bought eight drones from, and I'm just going to say DJI. It's the Jing Innovations, I believe, uh, based in Shenzhen, China, on July 26, while the FBI purchased 19 of them days earlier, according to Axios, which obtained records of the sales. The Secret Service's drone purchase, which it said was meant to supplement the agency's existing fleet of small unmanned aircraft and improved mission support through the use of most up-to-date equipment and software, came just three days after Defense Department released a statement that the, said the company poses potential threats to national security. The FBI said it made the purchase because the drones were the only commercially available consumer SUAS to combine all these capabilities at an acceptable cost. And that's what I've been arguing about DJI drones for a long time. Uh, the Pentagon also noted that DJI systems are not approved for procurement and operations for U.S. government departments and agencies, which contradicted a report summary from the U.S. Army Special Operations Command, Adam Prater, indicating that no malicious code or intent was found on two DJI drones. A spokesman for DJI, Adam Lisberg, disputed claims that the company was providing customer data to the Chinese government. Claims that somehow DJI products are transmitting customer data back to China or to DJI or anywhere they're not supposed to be are just false, he told Axios. No one has ever found a deliberate attempt to steal data or any other fantasies promoted by some of our critics. It simply isn't true, he said. So that's, uh, that's what the article says, but essentially what this is doing is this is breaking this wide open. This uh, this debate as to whether or not uh, DJI is spying on uh, on us with with their drones and and it's it's goofy to even propose because we carry cell phones around in our pockets everywhere uh, that come from the very same places and have much 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 more capability in some senses than what these drones do so. You know, it is what it is, what, what, what it truly is was predatory business practices. But as the article stated, there are no domestically produced drones that have all those capabilities that have an acceptable price range. They're just outrageous in, in, in cost uh, for U.S. produced drones. And, and there's just not that many of them. And the options are kind of limited. So anyway... I thought I would bring that article to you. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Shalom.